Hi guys, as we all know that we can no longer create GCM projects in Google Console, but we can use the old ones. So let's talk about the new way to integrate GCM in Android. GCM has been upgraded to FCM, that is Firebase Cloud Messaging. Earlier we used Google Console for GCM, but now we have to use Firebase Console for FCM integration. If you see Firebase has introduced many new and awesome features. Now let's keep aside all of the features and talk about the notification module. In your browser, Google for Firebase Console. Open the Firebase Console and log in with your Gmail account. A welcome page appears wherein you can see your migrated projects from Google Console to Firebase Console or any new projects created in Firebase Console itself. Select your project if already present or you can import it from your earlier Google Console projects. As you can see, I've already created my FCM project named FCM Demo. So let's open it. Now I can add more than one application to the same project. As you can see, the pop-up demands for your Android application package and SHA1 fingerprint. After clicking on the Add App button, a Google service.json file is downloaded. This JSON file is to be included in your application's app folder as shown. If you open the JSON file, you can see it contains all your project details like your key package name, etc. After that, there are some changes to be done in your applications and projects Gradle file. Please follow the exact procedure as shown. As you see, it is your notifications page by which you can send notifications to your devices. Let's have a look at the Android side coding. As highlighted, this line brings us the FCM token. For for receiving notifications, we can use the old way or go with what Firebase is providing. So here I have extended Firebase messaging service. It has some overridden methods by which we receive our notification and can then show it in the notification bar. There are some basic permissions required to get the notification to our devices. As you can see, please include all these permissions in your manifest. Also, in the app.gradle file, you have to mention the Google Play services and Firebase messaging plugin. Now as we are ready with our configurations done on both console and applications side, let's try to send notifications from Firebase console to our device. As you can see, the same message sent from Firebase console is received on the device. You can then handle your clicks on the notification as you prefer. For now, I have opened the application on click. 